Donald Trump's transition in the spotlight, reports of tension inside the team, some top figures pushed out. His family is playing a prominent role in overnight. Trump pushed back with this tweet, saying it's a, quote, very organized process taking place. I am the only one who knows who the finalists are. ABC's Tom Yamas at Trump Tower with the latest. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you. And there's yet another tweet this morning. President-elect Trump also tweeting that he never asked for national security credentials for his tr children. We'll have more on that in a moment. But now some Republicans are describing a very rocky rollout with this cabinet. And even some Republicans going as far as saying that the people around Trump are poisoning the decision making. Overnight, President-elect Trump escaping from his skyscraper turned fortress for dinner down the street at Manhattan's 21 Club. This photo posted on Twitter showing Trump and his family getting a standing ovation. Trump then seen here parting ways with son Eric. Daughter Ivanka and son-in-law Jared Kushner also spotted leaving the restaurant. Trump bucking the tradition of transparency for a president or president-elect and leaving his home without the pool of journalists there to cover his every move. The dinner break coming amid continuing turmoil inside the transition team. One of the president-elect's top advisors on national security well, abruptly morning. resigning. Former Congressman Mike Rogers reportedly pushed out just as the campaign prepares to announce Trump's pick for national security advisor. I think there is some confusion going on uh, about a chain of command coming out of New York. Uh, hopefully they'll get that settled pretty soon. I think they're going to need to do it because as this clock ticks, uh, all of these decisions become more important. General Michael Flynn, a contender for the NSA post. Sources say the Trump transition team is now taking their time with rolling out their cabinet to prevent the backlash that followed their first two announcements. Anti-establishment Trump loyalist enraged over the announcement Reince Priebus would be chief of staff, while many Democrats were alarmed after Stephen Bannon was named chief strategist and White House counselor. It is one of his very first, if not his official, first official act. He appointed a man seen as a champion of white supremacy as a number one strategist in the White House. And the Trump team having to oust a low-level staffer after that person put an informal request for national security clearance for Trump's children, Ivanka, Don Jr., and Eric, who are all on the transition team. I just know that uh, that was never a formal request. It's just basically somebody, I think, trying to leak information. Sources with the transition team say it was never a formal request from the president-elect nor his children. Now, there was some news yesterday that Dr. Ben Carson did not want to serve in the Trump administration. An advisor to Dr. Ben Carson saying he didn't have the life experience to be a cabinet secretary. But then overnight, Dr. Ben Carson taking to Facebook saying that he did not want the job, not because it's too complex, but rather he thinks Donald Trump needs a group of advisors outside of the Washington bubble. George and Robin.